Authorities say an SUV hit her and then left her for dead. Authorities was at 6.30 this morning. 17-year-old Alani Miller was walking to the bus stop when she got hit. The impact sent her into this ditch. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Today, today, we are going to film the story time when I got hit by a car. Y'all wanted me to film this video so bad. Like, I got comments. I got messages. People were Snapchatting me. They was calling me like, Iman, you want to hear the story time? So I'm going to give y'all the story time. And right now, I'm going to tell y'all right now, all of this is 100% true true unfortunately i got pictures videos girl i was on the news i was viral period y'all finna see it all just watch for the video okay kicking off the story so basically the day it happened it was like a tuesday i think it was january 8th tuesday if i'm not mistaken i mean that was only the biggest thing that ever happened to me but yeah so I wake up like a regular day and you know, I'm like, dang, it's cold outside. We in Florida and it's cold outside. You know, it's going to be a bad day. Like, come on now. I'm like, mom, can I stay home? You know, I'm not really feeling it. But she like, no, we just got home from break. You need to go to school. You know, you're not staying home. So I'm just like, bump it. I'm, I'm going to school. There's nothing stopping me. So basically it's like, I get ready. I do everything that I got to do and I leave the house. So yeah, I leave the house and I'm just walking to my bus stop. Mind you, prior to this, I um had got in trouble at my other school, my high school. I guess I got into a fight and you know, stuff happened and I wasn't allowed to go back to that school. So I had to go to alternative school. So that's why I was taking the city bus to school because you know, I had to get it how I can, you know? So I was taking the city bus to school and I was just walking to the city bus like I do any other morning and god had other plans for me that day okay so the sh this is how the street is set up it's like there's a street and then on the side of the streets it's just like grass there's no type of sidewalks there's no lights street lights there's none of that so me trying to be safe i'm like walking in the grass thinking who's gonna go off the grass like you know i'm just walking in the grass messing up my shoes because i'd rather walk in the grass to be safe than get hit by a car but apparently not so I'm just walking and all I remember is just like seeing big headlights in the back of me and boom, I got hit. So as I got hit and I'm going to insert pictures and stuff whenever. As I got hit, I looked at my, because I didn't feel anything. I guess my body was in shock or whatever. I really did not feel anything. So I'm like, oh, heck no. Because I'm just laying on the ground like, did I just get hit? Or did I fall? Like, what just happened to me? And I look up, like, to look at my surroundings, and I see a car stop, and it just speed off. And I was like, what? Okay, I guess I just got hit by a car. I was in so much shock. Like, I was not crying. I was not screaming. I was not yelling or nothing. And I just looked at my hands because I'm like, oh, my God. My hand is literally, look, guys, y'all can see the scar. I'm like, my hand is literally broke right now. And all I seen was, like, glass in my hand. There was blood. There was everything. And I'm just like, what? So it was like everything was, like, coming to me that, whoa, you girl, you just got hit by a car right now. And I'm like, no, I didn't get hit by no car until I looked at my legs I tried to like get up but I couldn't like push myself up because I had glass in my hand and it was like bro you try that it's not as easy as it sounds um I looked at my legs dumb girls was folded up like they was crisscross applesauce freaking polite with manners folded up and I was like oh my god and I seen this might sound nasty to y'all so if you have like a weak stomach or you got that type of mind we can't handle it click out right now but um yeah i looked at my legs and i was like whoa my bone is literally sticking out my leg that's when it was like girl you need to get help you are laying in this ditch with cold water and i started crying so, so at this point i'm just sitting there crying like please somebody help me and i was i was living in a little neighborhood kind of community and it was like a lady they were walking their kids like it's how it is. It's like the high school kids go to school, then the elementary. So the elementary people, I guess it was time for them to get on their bus. They were waiting. They like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, it was just like the mothers were walking their little children to the bus stop. And I guess one of them heard me. I don't know her name, but thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. 
So she heard me and she came up to me and she was like, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? And the neighborhood that I live in, everybody knows everybody. Like there's like maybe 10 families. So, you know, everybody knows everybody. I'm like, she was like, whoa, I know you. I know your mom. I'm like, yes, can you please go get my mom? All I really wanted was like, I need to see my mom. My mom needs to know what happened to me. So I, I guess she went to go get my mom and she called 911. And I was just like literally laying there. And all I can remember was like, God, please don't let me be paralyzed. Please don't let me be paralyzed because, you know, I, I couldn't move. So I'm like, am I paralyzed or like, am, am I just like, I'm in shock. So that's all really I was thinking. That's when I started to like really cry and scream. And, you know, maybe like three minutes later, my mom showed up and she was, ooh, when I tell you my mom was not having it, my mom was not having it. Shorty was like, oh my God, what happened to you? This, this, and that. I told you to walk on the other side of the street. And I'm just like, whoa, is you hurt or am I hurt right now? You know, she had that little motherly instinct. She tried to like, my baby, my baby. She tried to pick you up, mind you, mind you. My mother is way short. Y'all, I am 5'8". I am tall. My mom is like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five, I don't know. Her little self tried to pick me up. And I'm looking at her like, don't touch me, shorty. My legs are broke. I was try I was really trying to tell her. I'm like, please, please don't pick me up. Don't touch me. Like, Because, you know, I didn't want to mess up anything even worse. You know, I didn't want to, like, break my legs more than when it was already broken. I'm like, just wait till the ambulance get here. Please, please, please don't touch me. And, you know, if your legs are broken, you're not going to want anybody to touch you either. You don't want to move. You want to be as still as possible because any movement feels, like, worse. Like, it feels like breaking your leg all over again. So, I'm like, just wait till the ambulance get here. Please. And she's just like, okay. So, we were just sitting there. They The ambulance came, I, know, I guess I got hit at 630 or something like it was in the morning time the ambulance came at like seven so this was like a 30 minute process of me just laying there in this cold ass water like so boom the i hear the sirens coming i'm like thank you jesus thank you jesus i hear the sirens and i'm like my slow self i see a fire truck i'm like who called the fire truck you know i'm just getting mad because my legs are broken and you know i'm just have i'm just screaming to scream at this point so i'm like who the hell caught the fire truck? Why is the fire truck here? I need an ambulance. And they were trying to like explain to me like, girl, the fire truck is the persons that are, they're the people that are finna pick you up into the ambulance. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So it's three big guys who get out the, um, they get out their vehicle and stuff and they just start, they like rush to me. Like they run with their big suits. I'm like, ooh, okay, period. <laughs> and I'm seeing these big ass men, like three of them come up to me and they have this little old stretcher. And I'm just looking at the stretcher. They're looking at myself. I'm like, y'all finna put me on this? But I guess they did. I was physically and I, there, but my mind was not there. Like, it felt like I was just laying there and they were picking me up. And I wasn't feeling anything because I was still in shock. Like, I just got hit by a freaking SUV. You feel me? So, I get in the ambulance or whatever. And they tell me that my mom cannot go. When I tell y'all I flip bricks in the freaking ambulance, I'm like, what y'all mean my mom can't go? She has to go. I'm not even 18 yet. My mom is coming. They were like, well, you are in critical condition right now. Um, there's no room for your mom in there. We're about to be doing serious work in this ambulance from the short ride to this place to the hospital. You're finna get serious work on you. And I'm just like, what? And I'm, I'm like, okay, mom, you can't go, I guess. You can't go. So as we get in the ambulance, you know, everybody was putting their seatbelts on. The driver was getting where he had to go. And this part right here kind of like pissed me off. Like it really just, they were like, to them, it was just a regular ass day to them. Like they see crazy shit like this. I understand that. Like, um, it was, it might have not been as serious to them, but to me, like, it's just my life. I'm talking about like, they were in there laughing, like, oh my God, I guess one of the firefighters or ambulance people, their name was Steven, and he was going to be the one actually driving the um, ambulance to the hospital. And they were like, oh my God, Steven cannot drive. We don't want Steven to drive. I'm like, what? This was my exact words. I said, Steven better tighten the fuck up. Those were my exact words. And I'm just like, my legs was crossed up. My arm was broken. I was just cussing. So All I could do was cuss and pray. Like, that's what I, if I'm being serious, that's all I was doing. And they were like, we're just playing, we're just playing with you. I'm like, y'all playing with me, and this is the, like, this is my life. Y'all playing with my life. I'm finna have one of y'all fired. So we get there, we're driving to the um hospital or whatever. All of a sudden, I see these big ass sharp scissors. They get to cutting my clothes off. I'm like, whoa, y'all cutting my clothes off. They're like, yeah, we're cutting your clothes off. I'm like, I can, 
I, my clothes are expensive. Let me take it off. I had a jacket on. They were like, no, your hands are broken. You need to lay down because they didn't know if I had any head injuries. So they really had to like get my head stable and stuff. And I'm just like, I guess. So they just started cutting all, like literally butt naked. They were cutting my clothes. They even cut my shoes with some scissors, I guess. So it was bad. And I'm just like, I'm freezing. I was just in this cold water laying there for 30 minutes. It's cold outside. It's 630 in the morning. And y'all got me naked. They're like, we're going to get you a blanket. We're going to get you a blanket. I'm like, okay, whatever. So they give me a blanket. They're done cutting me off. At this point, they're just putting the IV in. They're like hooking me up to all these machines or whatever. And at this point, like we're almost to the hospital. We're like three minutes away. And I'm just like all the pain in my body, like the, I guess the adrenaline started to wear off. I'm like, okay, I'm safe now. I'm with the hospital. They're going to take care of me. All the adrenaline wore off in my body. When I tell you, I felt everything that happened. I felt the hand. I felt the leg. I felt both my legs. I felt every single thing. I'm like, oh my God, can somebody please put me to sleep? Please put me to sleep. I don't want to feel this. They were like, oh my, we know. We know you're feeling bad right now. I'm like, can you please put me to sleep? I'm not trying to hear nothing y'all saying. And they just like... Oh, well, you're not stable enough to go under anesthesia right now. We can't give you any medicines to the doctor um, knows what you're allergic to. So they know everything about you. We can't give you anything. And I'm just looking at them like, really? So I'm just thug. And when I tell you I'm thugging it out, I'm literally thugging it out the whole way to the um, hospital. And we finally get there. So, boom, we get to the hospital. They take me out. When I tell y'all it feel like it was a movie, I'm still like, is this real? I'm supposed to be at school right now. Like, it's 7.30 right now. Is this still happening? Is this really me? So we get to the hospital and I'm. they transfer me from the, um, I think it's called a gurney or whatever. They transfer me to the gurney to like a hospital bed. And when I tell you it's like three, four, five, like five doctors, they like pushing me. They're running down the hospital, like the emergency room. They're running down the hallways like, oh my god, this is Lonnie Miller, 17-year-old female, hit by a car. Like, they're just giving, they're, they're telling all my information. And it felt like, all I can remember, I just like, damn, is this a movie? Like, this shit do not feel real. They were just like, doing the dash to the room. So we get to this room, and it was cold. I'm butt-ass naked, wet, it's cold, and they lay me out like a starfish. I'm just laying back like this. And that's when they really get to hooking me up, IVs breathing machines, a uh, head thing. I'm gonna put pictures and everything. They gave me like a, um, they started running tests on me and everything. And I'm just like, bruh, I feel everything. Can somebody please put me to sleep? And they're like, man, we cannot, we cannot give you anything just yet. The doctor's working on you right now. And I'm like, bro, whatever. At this point, I was in so much pain. When I got to the um, hospital, I couldn't like remember, like I started slipping in and out, in and out of consciousness. And the doctor, he's like, all right, we're finna get you ready to surgery, like emergency surgery. I'm like, surgery? And he's like, yep, we just need to do a bone resetment. I'm like, bone resetment? What is that? Or replacement, whatever it's called. I'm like, no, y'all not. No, you're not. You're not finna replace no bone while I don't have any medicine. So the doctor looking at me like, and I'm looking at the doctor like, no, I'm not playing with you. You ain't finna reset nothing. And so all I hear is bone replacement or resetment in three, two. I'm like, no, y'all not. And he cracked my leg, literally back. My leg was like this. He straightened it out. I was like, oh, my God. And after that, all I remember is just going to sleep into emergency surgery and waking up. And just I just woke up out of surgery like, whoa. Did I just get hit by a car? That's all I kept saying was, did I really just get hit by a car? And, you know, I woke up and my family was there. My mom, my sister, my dad. And really, I just wanted my sister to be there, too. I just wanted her to spend a night with me because I did not want to be in the hospital by myself. And she did. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically the whole story. I mean, after that, I clearly, clearly recovered really well. But um, I did, I think I stayed in the hospital for a whole month and then I went to rehab and had surgeries and went back to rehab. But I'm better now. Thank you guys for your condolences. You know, everybody was showing me mad love though. Like I got my phone back like four days later and I looked at my Snapchat. I had like 103 Snapchat. I'm like, y'all love me. I felt so loved. So thank you for everybody who checked up on me and, you know, had me in their prayers and stuff. Thank you. I appreciate you. I fuck with you and I hope you go to hell. But for whoever hit me, I really want to tell you this. Why? I just want to know why you hit me. Like, what the fuck were you doing? Were you drunk? Was you high? Like, do you, why did, 
why would you hit somebody and not check to see if they're okay? Like that's literally, if I ever see you, I'm beating your ass and I want you to know this. You better I, run. Cause I, you, I'm a girl, but <coughs> I'm popping these nails off and it's that paint with you, period. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching my video. I will be uploading more. So guys subscribe to me, please. And thank you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.